Okay, so this is the Edifier X2, the latest addition to the Edifier X series of true wireless earbuds. Many of you probably haven't heard about this company, and if you have, then you must know that they have got a whole array of gadgets. Categorically speaking, we have speakers, earphones, earbuds, and such sound, sound stuff. And just as many other Chinese brands, they release stuff quite frequently, so they have a lot of products. So today, we are lucky to have one of their newest earbuds over here, the Edifier X2 or the XML X2. I'm not sure how, how if I pronounce it well, but it spells that way. And the naming system of Edifier is quite weird because I've already seen the Edifier X3, X5, and even X6, and they were released way before this one. So when I saw the, the X2 for the first time, I thought like they were from like 2020 or something, but instead they're from December 2021. Anyways, let's check on these earbuds. What's up guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. I'm Milan and welcome back to Fizitech. Without wasting any more time, let's get to the video. And by the way, I've left timestamps, so if you'd like to skip to a particular part in the video, the pleasure is yours. Run the race, every move is on the page. But I well, the unboxing experience is the usual here. You get the buds, a case, a tiny USB-C cable and the manual with the instructions just as indicated in the box. Outside the box, it's indicated that there's a presence of phone call noise cancellation, a 13mm driver, it's IP54 dust and waterproof and the presence of gaming mode. I don't wanna let myself... The design of the case is quite unique, specifically the shape. It has this weird oval like shape that has a matte black finish and a tiny hole that shows the, a red LED light when charging. At the back, it has the Edifier logo, then all around it has a glossy band that is plastic but feels sort of premium. A USB-C port is also present at the bottom of the case. The earbuds themselves are tiny, which is a good size, and they fit in the ear perfectly. And the outward part has a matte black finish, while the inside part has a glossy finish, and this makes it seem so unique. The outward part also has the XML branding and another LED like the lights blue and red. I'd give the design a 10 over 10 if the plastic at the end of the tip that enters the ear was a little bit smoother. I'm not saying that it's bad, but for that reason I give it a 9.5 over 10, which is still a good rating. With the controls, to play or post the current track, you can double tap either one of the buds, then to skip to the next track, you triple tap the right ear buds. Unfortunately, you cannot restart a track by tapping this, then, then again, you cannot skip to the previous track. To enter gaming mode, you triple tap the left earbud and to leave gaming mode, you repeat the same thing. To receive or end calls, you also double tap either of the buds and finally, pressing and holding for 3 seconds will bring up your system. Since you can't skip to the previous track or at least restart the track, then again you can't increase and decrease the volume with this. I'd give the controls a 7 over 10 as they could do better. Also, it could have been easier if pausing and playing could have been just a single tap. And also you can't customize the controls, so you get what you get. With the features, as I said earlier, it has noise cancellation. When receiving a phone call, I tried it and true to their word, it works. Okay, it's not the best noise cancellation, but it's, ex it's something I didn't expect. We also get an IP54 rating, which means it's safe from dust and water splash from all directions, meaning you don't have to get worried when sweating, maybe or when you're in a dusty environment. It also has a Bluetooth 5.1, which is not the latest and greatest, but it's still okay since it's true to its budget price. It's enough for normal day usage and it's not much of an inconvenience. Moving on to the sound quality, the Edifier X2 produces a decent sound quality. The noise is full and rich and it's quite good. Having 13mm drivers, the bass was that good, maybe even a 9 over 10, and in general, the sound was full and for the average user, it's great. Looking at the sound quality alone, I'd 100% recommend this to anyone without hesitation. During calls, the sound is also amazing as you can hear the other person quite well, and so they can hear you very well with the buds on, meaning the microphone is also good. Generally, with the sound quality, I'd give this a 9 over 10. So I've used my fair share of true wireless earbuds, and let me just say that the battery life on this one is the best. In the advertisements, a defy talk of 7 hour battery life when the buds are out of the case, and although I haven't really tested that, I could still believe it. 
This is because I've been using this for about three to four weeks now, and not even once have I met a battery low indicator. As a matter of fact, I've never even seen the battery drop less than 100% on the phone, and I've been averaging it for two to three hours most of the time. I'm not sure if it's a bug, but for now, I'm going to assume that the battery is that big. From the website, it says that the battery capacity of the charging case is 350 million and the capacity of the earbuds is 37 million. In addition to the 7 hour playtime, it says an extra 21 hour when using the case, meaning a total of 28 hours and hence, the case can serve for 4 full charging cycles, which is really good. Charging of the case takes a short time, but since there is no indicator of a percentage, it's an inconvenience. But what I noticed is that when charging, it will light red, but after some time, then it will stop. Then I think that means that it's full. The latency of these wireless earbuds is also so good. When playing code mobile, I faced little to no lag, but when, when watching videos, let's say Netflix or something, there was absolutely no lag. So for gaming, it's not the best, but if you are to use it for music and videos, then it's 100% good. Now in the website, it boasts over 10 mm distance, but that's not it. The maximum may reach was about 7 to 8 mm, then it started disconnecting and reconnecting. But 7 to 8 mm is still great. And also to be fair, I've never seen wireless earbuds that actually deliver the distance that they claim when advertising. So the Edify X2 are worth checking out as another budget alternative in this world of Bluetooth earphones. Despite lacking a battery indicator on the charging case, everything else is so great and I'd recommend it to you. I got this one for 2,000 Kenyan shillings or 18 US dollars and for this price, it's a safer bet instead of buying AirPods 3 clones for a more expensive price only for them to disappoint you. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm Milan and thanks for watching this video. If you reach here then there's no point in living without subscribing. To check my first impressions on the Macaron Imports 12 or the Infinix Iroka Pros, you can click here and here. And with that being said, I hope you have a musical day. See you next time. Peace.